I'm Evelyn. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So today we are building a it's tiny a Scandinavian tiny house. Yes, I am not actually sure if I think this was a part of a bigger house, but I just turned it tiny. I think it was, yeah, I think it was a bigger house. So it's inspired by a picture that I found on Pinterest as are most of my builds. <laughs> um, and then, you know, I also hang out on the archive now and then, but this one is from Pinterest, I think, or I know, I know it's from Pinterest. So I wanted to, it's actually funny. So I've done today's build and tomorrow's build. I'm doing the voiceover Thursday. I'll tell you guys why in a little bit because I really want to talk about it, <laughs> but it's not anything exciting. Well, for you, it's not exciting. It's exciting for me, but um, yeah, I've already built today's build and then also tomorrow's and both of the builds. So I have a spreadsheet where I write down like build ideas and my plans for the week and stuff like that. And I hadn't written down Scandinavian tiny house for today. It was supposed to be another kind of build. And you know, tomorrow's build, not yesterday's. Tomorrow's build was also supposed to be another theme, but turned into something else. <laughs> so I guess I just got two themes that I'm going to push for, not next week, but the week after, because I think next week is going to be another Zodiac tiny house week, because I asked over on the community tab if you want it the next for sooner rather than later and you said sooner at least that's what it says right now if not then i'll do something else next week um but yeah i just i don't know i just kind of turn into something else kind of funny so i think for this one i actually had a theme in mind and then i went to look at tiny houses or just houses that or just just houses because sometimes for tiny houses i knew that i wanted to build a tiny house but but sometimes for tiny houses I just make bigger houses smaller. It's kind of funny. You should try it out sometime if you like building. <laughs> if you like building uh, tiny houses, you should definitely try to take like a bigger house and then just take a smaller part of the house and turn it into a tiny house it's like by its own. I don't know how to explain it, but it's quite fun to do. So I hope you get what I mean. Um, so yeah, that's what happened with this one. But I'm going to save the other two themes for another time. And so that means next week. Or at least if the poll still stands by the end of the week, come Sunday, I'm going to be doing the next couple of Zodiac houses. So anyway, but today it's not a Zodiac house. It's just a Scandinavian tiny house. So it's quite crammed in the interior. We're building on a 20 by 20 in Windenburg. And as for the color scheme, I didn't want to go with like beige, white, gray as I kind of usually do. Um, or not usually, I don't want to say usually, but... I've done that a lot for Scandinavian houses, so it's still very neutral um, because that is mo mostly a Scandinavian interior and I wanted that to be reflected in the interior in this house, but I'm using this like nice brown that you'll see in a bit. I also thought it went well with the exterior of the house actually, so. So we're using a lot of stuff from Dream Home Decorator, which I mean, that's kind of obvious. <laughs> and then also for obvious reasons anyway. And then we're also mixing it with, uh, I think a little bit of seasons in this house actually, some free stuff, base game stuff. I say free, but you need the base game to actually have the stuff. Um, that's, a, that's a given as well. And then a little bit, did I say seasons? There's a Moschino, a little bit of fitness stuff pack in there as well. I don't know, kind of mixed, but mainly dream home decorator, but kind of trying to use this brown because I haven't used it for a long time. So the floor as well is white, which is not something that I usually, I don't usually go for white floors because I feel like all furniture, unless it's like light beige or light gray or something, it kind of looks harsh on white wooden floors, if you get what I mean. So you kind of, you have to play around with it a little bit, soften it up with a rug here or there. And I don't know, I feel, feel like maybe it works a little bit better in this setting because, or at least to my eyes, because this is just my personal opinion on white floors. But I think maybe it works a little bit better in this setting because it is such a small house. So 
that might be why I'm okay with it here, but usually I actually find it very hard to decorate both white wooden floors, but also gray for some reason. Um, but yeah, everything is quite crammed together in this house. I just wanted to make sure they had a little bit of everything. So they don't really have a dining table, but they do have the bar. And then they also have a workstation underneath the front windows. They have a little living room situation. The bedroom is super narrow as well, but basically just, it, it has the essentials, which you know, it's great. <laughs> Good for your Sims. But everything is sort of cramped together just a little bit, so just keep that in mind. I did play test rooting though, so everything should be fine. Um, I didn't have any issues with either sides of the bed or getting to the couch or anything like that. So it should all be good. I do like to play test. That's why I can see my sim now and then because I'm just moving her around a little bit. But I like to play test as I'm building. So you won't see me play test most likely, but you will see my sim moving around the house. Just be aware of it. So uh, yeah, I think this house is also for one or two sims. It's It'll be on the gallery, you know, all that stuff. So, uh, but that's, that's basically the house. Just going for a Scandinavian cozy vibe. Not necessarily super minimalistic today. I wanted to clutter it up properly and stuff. So we're just going for like cozy Scandi vibes in the forest in a contemporary modern looking house as well. So yeah, I hope you guys will like this one, even though I've done a lot of Scandinavian houses before. Actually, whenever I build a Scandinavian house, it's not to call out anyone, <laughs> but it's a comment that I think about sometimes because it makes me laugh. So I, whenever I build anything where I want to put Scandinavian in the title of the video, I always think, think back on this one comment I got a while ago from someone who complained that I build a lot of Scandinavian houses. <laughs> Keep in mind that my houses are mostly American inspired by default because those are, most of the houses on Pinterest are from like pictures from of American houses. The furniture as well, even though like we have um, packs that are inspired by a Scandi interior. We have the Jungle Adventure pack as well. Everything is still Americanized because it's made by a team of Americans. So just keep that in mind. Everything is by default American. So whenever I do something that's not, I put it in the title. And so I got a comment from someone saying that I build way too many Scandinavian homes and I'm like, yeah, but I'm Scandinavian. <laughs> This is what's natural to me. Like, this is what I live, you know, like, this is my every, okay, this house is not my everyday because I don't see houses like this built in the forest. But you get my point, right? So I just think I think back on it every time I build anything Scandinavian because I thought it was so funny. I remember also quoting it or taking a picture of it and putting it on Twitter because I thought it was like, I'm genuinely, I thought it was funny. Um, so I remember posting it over there and people said the exact same thing, like, or Scandinavian. What do they expect? Yeah, I'm just building what I'm used to. You know, I'm just building, I'm building home. Sometimes you just want to build home. So yeah, I thought that was funny. But anyway, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about something that's actually super exciting to me because I tweeted about this Thursday as well. So technically today, because I'm doing the voiceover today, but anyway, and um, I have not had proper said weekends for closing in on eight years, which um, since I got self-employed, so since I started working as a translator back then, and that's a bit like that's a bit mind-boggling in itself, but I have been working according to a new schedule this week, which means that now I got the weekend covered, so Saturday, Sunday covered with videos and the other channel is running, it means I can take the next two days off. So. I'm sitting here like as soon as I'm done with this video, I am actually technically on weekend and I don't really know what to do with myself because I've not had two days off like this where everything is just like like a weekend. I'm, I'm searching for that weekend feeling, you know? And I don't really know what to do with myself. Like what do people do <laughs> during weekends? I know that sounds ridiculous, but whenever I have had consecutive days off it's because I've been on a trip somewhere and I've not been home be a been able to work and I just that means I'm busy you know I'm busy doing something I'm busy sightseeing or something else 
Um, I don't know what to do with just free time while staying at home. I have no idea what to do with myself. So if you got any suggestions, let me know. If you say cleaning, I'll be severely disappointed. Please don't tell me to clean. <laughs> like, no, I'm not spending my first weekend cleaning. My first actual weekend in eight years. I'm not spending that cleaning, okay? It's not happening. <laughs> so I just, I realized at some point, um, like over the past couple of months, that it's just really important important to take care of yourself and weekends are important so even even if you love your job like having time off now and then is still important so um just to have a better work-life balance if you will so that's what I'm gonna try to work towards and I actually did it this week I'm very satisfied <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna have I'm gonna have uh two days off which is so strange I don't know what to do with myself. I'm probably just gonna, I'm probably gonna end up lying on the couch or something, just reading, you know? <laughs> That's probably what's gonna happen. On Sunday, when I do the next voiceover, I'm gonna be like, so I got an update for you. I have finished four books. <laughs> Like, that's all that I'm gonna do, except I'm going to yoga tomorrow as well. But other than that, I can see myself just, like, just lying there for hours <laughs> reading or something, genuinely not knowing what to do with myself. So if you have any suggestions, let me know, but don't tell me to clean my my home. Just please, no, none none of that. Not not this time. Not this weekend. I'll do it. I'll do it some other time. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Makes it sound like my apartment is disgusting. It's really not dirty. I just want to I just want to point that out. Anyway, so um yeah, zodiac houses next week. I'm on weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like the build, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, the Terry Files can be found over on my Patreon, which will be linked to in the description box down below, as well as in the pinned comment. And if you check the pinned comment, you can also find a link to my booktube channel. So if you like to read as much as I do and you like to watch videos where people talk about books, recommend books and all that stuff, definitely check out the channel. But I think that's all I got for you guys today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Yeah.